Hello everybody, my name is Luigi Carlo and I am a fine artist. These videos, Leonardo da Vinci's approach to art, are to highlight the close relationship between art and science. The great master of the Renaissance realized that art is in fact connect with the scientific subjects such as human anatomy, optics, light and geology. He was a pioneer in the study of this subject, which he applied brilliantly in the portrait of Mona Lisa. Anatomy is important for depicting the sitter. Light and optics to represent light and its interaction with objects, and geology for the landscape. In the other hand, art, such as drawing, is used in the study of science. The advance of technology enabled us to conduct investigation that helped to understand the nature of light. In this video I discuss about some aspect of light, aiming to keep the concept simple in order to help understanding. In nature, an object either emit light, such as the sun or a lamp, or reflect it. And this including me, you, and pretty much all the objects around us. Light is also termed visible light, to contrast it from ultraviolet light and infrared light. However, in this video I will be talking just about visible light as this is important in art. Light is constituted of a stream of photons which propagate through space. Unless we look directly at the source, the light is only visible when it hits an object. And the resulting reflection stimulates the eyes, giving rise to the phenomenon of vision. Light tends to travel through air in a straight line at very high speed, but in a wave fashion. Currently, it is believed that light can behave as both a particle and a wave. The fact that light travels through air in a straight line is a very important aspect in visual art, and I cover this topic in other videos. The way in which light interacts with objects may vary. The light wave can be reflected or scattered off an object, or absorbed by the object. To simplify considerably this concept, one has to imagine that different objects around us interact differently with light, and therefore they appear in specific and peculiar ways. For instance, a transparent glass appears different than a metal object such as gold. And in turn, gold 
appears different compared to rocks. This essentially depends on the amount of the light absorbed, the interaction with the light and the surface of the specific object, and the way the light is reflected. In conclusion, the light is constituted of photons and travels in space at very high speed. When it is an object reflected, it reflected. This reflection stimulates our eyes, giving rise to the phenomenon of vision. I will be discussing all aspects of light and art in other videos. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Luigi Carlo and I am a painter and illustrator. You can email me to let you know your views. The address is art.luigicarlo at yahoo.co.uk You can also visit my website where you can view more interesting video and my art including portrait landscape and more. The address is luigicarlo.bosaicglobe.com In my YouTube account artluigicarlo I posted all interesting videos about art both in English and Italian. So you can have a look there too. Thank you for watching and goodbye.